Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. All right, so in this video, I want to take a look at a quantum problem. And here we'll be considering the quantum system with the Hamiltonian matrix represented here, where epsilon is much, um, a lot smaller than the potential. So the perturbation is very small. And so that's what the epsilon will denote here. So very small, very, very small perturbation compared to the potential. And it's asking us to find the first order corrections to the energies of these states. All right, so key word here, the first order corrections. All right, so we look at this uh, Hamiltonian matrix and let's rewrite it in a way that we can um, see it clearly. Okay, so we're gonna rewrite right or uh, or let's look at the breakdown right of what we have so um, this Hamiltonian here right can be expressed as um, V naught zero zero V naught right plus a perturbation times one, 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 two. Okay, now let me explain. So these two are adding up and these two are adding up, right? And so if we have V naught, V naught, which is this V naught and this V naught, right? Zero, zero, plus a matrix that has epsilons along all these three, right? You would be adding on an epsilon to this first term, which is fine. Um, here, since it's zero here, you'd just be adding an epsilon, so it'd be epsilon. Down here, it's zero, so adding an epsilon would just make it epsilon, and then down here, it'd be V naught plus E, or epsilon two, two epsilon. Okay, so this is the breakdown of this Hamiltonian that's put together. And the reason for that is to look at each part individually. So this piece here is responsible for the Hamiltonian, the Hamiltonian initially, right? And this part over here is H prime. So we'll denote that as the perturbated, perturbated Hamiltonian. Okay, so this here is the unperturbated. The unperturbated Hamiltonian and the next part there is the perturbated. And it's clear, it's it's not clear sometimes when you're looking at the, the matrix put together, but it's important to distinguish what's going on um, between both. Because here you have a Hamiltonian, the energy of, um, say this particle unperturbed and then here at some later state right you have it perturbed so it's moving and something's going on energy's um being perturbed here so this right here is added on to it so now if we need to find the first order corrections right that means that we're looking at only this part of the Hamiltonian because this is unperturbed. So there's no corrections for it being unperturbed. The perturbed Hamiltonian is what we're interested in. And a combination of both would be wrong. Okay, so separating it is key. And then now in order to find the corrections for just this, so now we need to find the corrections for H prime, which is the perturbed Hamiltonian. Okay, so let's do that here. And one thing that we need is our uh, eigenvalue equation. Okay, so using the eigenvalue equation, sometimes called the characteristic equation, which I don't know why I don't like it, but 
either one, characteristic equation or eigenvalue equation. Okay, so this um, determinant, right, uh, with the perturbed Hamiltonian minus um, lambda, and this I is just an identity matrix. Okay, so this is how you find your eigenvalues that are specific for the perturbed Hamiltonian, which is what we're looking for. And those will be um, the corrections. All right, so let's, let's write everything in. So we have here the determinant of the perturbed Hamiltonian. All right, I'm gonna distribute the epsilon in, all right, minus lambda. Um, and then the identity matrix is one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so it literally equals one. And all that equals zero. Okay, so let's, um, let's multiply that in and um, subtract. So we have here epsilon minus lambda, right? This minus this first lambda here, epsilon minus zero. So it's just epsilon on this side, epsilon minus uh, zero. So again, we have just epsilon, two e, two epsilon minus lambda. So two epsilon minus lambda on this side, okay, equals zero. And now let's solve um, the determinant. Okay, so this times this plus this times this, all right? So this times this is gonna be epsilon minus lambda, two epsilon minus lambda, right? This times this, um, minus this times this, sorry, it's minus these two over here. Okay, so minus epsilon squared equal to zero. And let's take this, okay, so this is the first, second, third, All right? And now let's take the rest of this over here all right so let's distribute here and we're gonna get so we're gonna get two epsilon squared all right and then here minus epsilon lambda here we're gonna get minus lambda two epsilon and then the last part we're gonna get plus lambda squared we have a minus epsilon squared on the outside equal to zero. All right, so let's combine terms. We have here, um, this lambda squared is by itself. So let's write that in the front, All right? We have, let's see, we circle it. We have um, uh, lambda, negative three lambda, uh, negative epsilon lambda, sorry, and we have here negative two lambda epsilon. So these two um, can combine. And let's see, um, this is two, that's epsilon, that's another two. Let's see what we're missing here. So we got two epsilon squared Okay, and then we have negative epsilon lambda. We have negative lambda two epsilon. Okay, and then we have lambda squared and then minus epsilon squared. Okay, so let's see. We have, let's combine these two. All right, so two and a negative one, we have negative three epsilon lambda. And then two minus one, we have plus epsilon squared equals zero. Okay. I don't know why that was confusing me for a second, but okay, we got negative three epsilon. And this is good. So here we have... Um, we have a quadratic, okay? So A, B, and C. 
right? And if you forgot your quadratic formula, we got lambda, because that's what we're looking for here, is gonna equal, um, I'll write it over here. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, just in case. Now let's fill it in. b is negative three epsilon. And so we have um, negative, negative becomes positive. So three epsilon plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that's this. We got negative three epsilon squared minus four. Okay, this is a is one and c is epsilon squared. So we have epsilon squared over two a and a is one. So this is what we have for the quadratic. Okay, so let's um, solve this out we have lambda is equal to three epsilon plus or minus the square root of this is nine epsilon squared so nine epsilon squared minus four epsilon squared over two and then let's see if we got some room here without cutting anything off all right so perfect let's erase this and finally, we're gonna have, so this is gonna become five epsilon uh, squared, and we can take out an epsilon out here. And so what we're gonna be left with is, we'll label this lambda one. Um, you're gonna have three, three plus square root of five, and I'll take out the epsilon from both terms. So this has a left epsilon, this epsilon squared comes out. And so I take it out of both, that's over two. All right, and let me make sure, okay. And now lambda two is gonna be three minus square root of five, epsilon over two. Okay, and these two are the corrections. So these are the corrections. Okay, so one, two, and it's important to look at the Hamiltonian, understand if it's perturbed or not, and break it up into each of its parts. Um, I mean, at least that's what I do, I don't, I don't like to just do it straight from my head and get it confused. So the unperturbed, the perturbed part, and if they're asking for the first order corrections, then you know that you're only dealing with the perturbed Hamiltonian, the part that is specifically for the perturbed corrections. And so then we use the eigenvalue equation or the characteristic equation, and we plug in the Hamiltonian that's perturbed only. Do some uh, math here. You got the quadratic. And finally, you find your eigenvalues, which represent your corrections for this, that specific Hamiltonian of those states. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching.